You a vlogger, facing over You a queen when I less than I'm a goose Oh wami, oh wami Oh wami, oh wami Oh wami, oh wami Oh wami, oh wami Hi ninjas, how are you doing? It's your girl, oh, I'm in the Zolu, aka Miss Fia Focal, bringing back for our entertainment. If you're first time joining me, I'm Please do make sure that I subscribe and obviously hit the bell. I absolutely love you. Now, of course, you guys know it's March Manzini, so we have Gogo Manzini in the hizzy. Yay! Welcome back. Hi, thank I, you. I, I feel like every time I have to say welcome back, it's like, did you ever leave though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome back. It's That's how you, you should do it all the time. I didn't <laughs> leave. I was right here. <laughs> like just, yeah. Mm. Uh, you have to welcome me back after four days. Yeah. Or three days. Uh, three days. Yeah. Okay. Welcome back. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing super good. You look gorgeous. Thank you. I actually love the, the red hair with the with the white top. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Uh, I was so confused also, but yeah, I can see it's going. You always look beautiful. That's thank what you. even the ninjas always say. Yeah, they always like, say oh, that she look looks beautiful. Is always looking so beautiful. And I'm like, guys, what about me? Like, <laughs> why are you not also saying, oh, I look beautiful? Yes, yes. <laughs> Don't take I'm my back. channel from me. I no, I won't. Have to. I'm just taking the ninjas. <laughs> Don't take my ninjas. Oh, Pella, the ninjas are the channel. <laughs> You take the ninjas, you've taken the, the channel. I might as well just give you the channel if you're gonna take my ninjas. <laughs> yeah, you can't do without them. No, I'm mm. kidding though. But anyway, today, guys, we're gonna be discussing an important topic that it once came up in one of our videos. And this is the importance of protecting your space. Protecting your space, protecting yourself from certain people. Uh, 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 being sure that you know the people that are in your life are in your life and these are people that you are good with them you know mm, mm, yeah mm, mm. because I do remember like there was a time that you were talking about like spirituality and the people that you are around so what I want to know now is can it be possible that if I have a friend that is you know YouTube is kind of like um like censoring mm. so we're gonna say maybe you have got a friend that is a prostitute mm. don't have to say it fully mm. you know a, a prost yeah okay short cut. does that spirit that this person have now start to get in you if you're spending a lot of time or spending time with this person yes that is why i always say that you need to be very careful of who you allow into your space how protected are they? How clean are they? What energies are you going to be sharing with them? Because now, remember, we exchange energies from all sorts of things, not just by having uh, an you know, int intercourse, int yes, yeah. not just by having intercourse, but by sharing a glass. Now, your DNA is there. Tell me what are you saying now? I'm saying <laughs> just that. <laughs> By sharing a glass. So that is why you find other people are very sensitive of who comes to their houses. Or even when you go to a certain house, they will tell you, that is my class. No one, this especially only elders, only. exactly. Yeah, you know those houses. Yes, especially I know. elders, they will say, that is my plate and no one touches it. Oh, you plate your bubble, Ex nobody touches exactly. it. Exactly. So now, who, who you, uh, you, you share, you know what you find? Another thing, I'll make it an example of you. Mm. There's a time in your life when you are friends with certain people mm. and your things are just not going good. You're not getting a job, you're not getting anything, nothing is just about you. The only thing that you are all about is about going out mm. to the clubs, mm. to the this, to the that. That is why that's the energy you to attract around each other. That is what you guys are about. So that is what those people are about. There is nothing progressive evil in them. So now that also comes to you. That energy, it comes to you. Or would see you only do this and this and that. But when you decide that you are taking a step away from such group or you're taking a step away from those people, 
Then your things start opening up. Huh? Then you start booking jobs. Then you start getting a boyfriend that lasts. In bed. I'm no. kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> so people <laughs> around you, they have an, 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 an impact. <laughs> I'm a problem child. <laughs> I saw an opportunity, guys. I had to take it. Um, mm. Yeah, obviously, I'm, I'm kidding. Yes, I'm obviously. Friend, that last goes. Some of you, apparently, two months is the longest relationships mm. you've had, which is a shock, you know. Exactly. Um, Some a month. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's, it's really bad. But then, okay, so, you know, obviously, growing up, uh, we grew up, especially us from the village, guys, because I always ask sometimes, I'm like, guys, am I just too village? Because mm. I see certain stuff that are done here, and I'm like, you don't. You that wouldn't fly in the village, you know. Mm. But growing up, we were always used to be told, Oguti, like, you do not associate with this type of people, mm. and then they would always say, f f Friends have influence and stuff like that. Do you, is it that it is the influence, or is it that when you start maybe being friends with this particular person, the spirit that governs them um, now starts coming to you? And the other question that I also have is that. If they say I have the spirit of I'm just a blessed child, you know, I'm a, mm. I'm a lucky child. Mm. And now I'm going into this situation where this friend is cursed, nothing goes well um, in their life. Does it ever happen that my good spirit can be stronger than whatever curse is there? And then I'm the one that actually helps this person to lift them from the curse because of my light yeah, yes. shines too bright. Yes, that is why they would always say, you need to know who you associate yourself with. Mm. Like maybe if I'm on a lower level mm. and then I associate myself with higher people, mm. chances are I'll be high. Yes. Chances are I'll be high. Mm. Because now they would say, you now he's hanging around those and those and those. Oh, they're going places. Mm. He's going places or she's going yes, places. So now it's because they it, older people, they know how energies transfer okay. or how things go. Okay. So they do not want you to be close to that child. Maybe the child is sleeping around. They know the child is exchanging boys and stuff like that. So with them being old, they know the sexual ties or the exchanges that happens there. And now they know what, whatever that person has, they can share their energy with you. Mm. Uh, most definitely. So you need to protect your space by not allowing anyone into your space. Okay. Meaning your property. Mm. Not everybody gets into my car. Mm. Me. Mm. I, I, I allow myself. I very, you need to be very selective of who you let into your space, who you let into your house, who you let into your life. Because now remember that we do not cleanse most of people. Mm. Most people don't cleanse. Most people don't know the importance of cleansing. Most people don't even know what cleansing is. Do you, okay, so I think that we're going to have an episode of what is cleansing, right? So that we, we can educate um, is, is, is that something that would be possible? It can be possible. It's just, we can even edit now. Okay, what is cleansing? Cleansing is warding off. Okay. Of bad spirits. Okay. Warding off of blockages. Okay. Warding off of anything that blocks your progress. Okay. And then you are cleansing it. You are removing it from you. And then you need spiritual protection after cleansing. So is there someone that can be able to cleanse without going to a Sangoma? Is yeah. there a way? How yeah. do you do that? You do, um, they use easy, you, 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 they go buy certain things, like there's certain herbs like, that uh, you can what use. What is this herb that I've seen in pep? In pep, it, 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 it cleanses the space. The space. Yes, you know, it cleanses the space, but you also as a person, remember in pep, you can part with it. Mm. Mm. Number one, you can burn it mm. to ward off bad energies in the space. Impep that is not mixed with umuti. No, impep on its own. It's a, a umuti. Is it? Yes. It's not just a plant that was taken and dried. No, people only know that impep we burn it. They know that for impep it's an incense in English. Yeah. They know that you burn it. Actually, impep you burn it, you part with it, you drink it. Oh, Okay. As in to cleanse yourself inside. 
But using Impepo on its own, it does not have the properties of now using other herbs when they are mixed together. Okay. So I'm not saying it's weak or what, mm. but a cleansing J, that's just a light one. Mm. You can use Impepo. But if you go deeper on deeper cleansings, that is when you need herbs that are different. You don't use the same herbs for cleansing. Mm -hmm. You need to understand what you're cleansing for. Mm -hmm. Why are you cleansing? Mm -hmm. What kind of a cleansing is this? Mm -hmm. And then that's when you know when to use, which herbs to use and what not to use. So now, the other question that I would have now is that I've heard people say that you bath with salt, like a rough salt mm. that helps or you pour that in your bucket and you clean with it, that's also part of, like, cleaning uh, bed spirits. I mean, that's just salt. Basic. Is that true? Yes, it's true. Okay. Especially the horse one. Yes. The one that the is... One. Yes. You use that. That one also, it has a lot of properties. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That one, that salt, it has a lot of properties. Having it at home, mm. just to sprinkle it. Mm. You use most maybe in water, mm. and then you sprinkle it. But use sometimes also, you need to use it just as it is. Just okay. throw it outside. Oh, yes, just throw it outside toward off. In general, okay. yeah, yes. But it 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 also cannot get too deep. Mm. So that is why also it is important. To, but j just for basic cleansing, let me just say that for now. Mm. For basic cleansing, you can use it. You can use it in your path mm. because now it also helps when your your legs are swollen mm. or you've got a swollen part. Then you just soak them in, mm. and then it has got a lot of properties, properties especially sea salt. Yes, I need to vele sea salt. I think the crop salt is like gathered from the ocean as yes. is, and yes. it's not refined. Nothing happens to it, so it's very cheap. Yeah, very I cheap. actually have it because the time that my my son, um, you know, got his procedure done. Okay. When we had to soak him in water, um, at the clinic, they advised that that's the salt you use, not the one that is, uh, loose. That's mm. the salt you use. Uh, it helps. Um, with the healing quicker and it it's did. a very powerful I have it like I have bags and bags because mm. I was panicking I went and I mm. bought a lot of them you know it's a very powerful one yeah so, so you use it to cleanse yeah mm. so like uh, yeah, this thing Jay you know the more and more I feel like we talk the more and more I learn it I feel like it, it, it it's getting me to get, go more and more into just honestly, like, hey, staying away from a lot of you. Yes, it's very important. It's very important because, you know, if you now find the most successful people, mm. they're not friendly. <laughs> Why is it though? The most success pe successful people, mm. they're not friendly in a way that you can find them associating with yeah, anybody. You cannot just it's easily... because now some of them, especially they understand spirituality. Mm -hmm. They understand the power of energy exchanges. So they'd rather be with their family mm -hmm. than having friends all around. So you find that whenever they go on a vacation, mm -hmm. they go with family. Yeah. Whenever they go, not like you guys, when you, not you, mm -hmm. not like certain people that would say, oh, my chomi, let's organize a trip to Devon. Let's mm -hmm. get a taxi, full. Yeah. The, I do yeah. not involve myself in those things. I Jenny, will I was never. Of us a trip in jail with, with 15 ninjas. You've got a very clean energy. Ah. I can travel with you anyway. <laughs> no, but I'm kidding. But anyway, um, yeah, there's uh, this other guy that I'm working with that they're about to do. Uh, he's, he, he's doing trips. That's good. And so, yeah, he's going to be organizing trips and stuff like that. But I, I honestly do get you because I feel like sometimes. And find in, in all those trips, ask him, mm. how often does he get rich people in the group i know Thank it, you. It, it's mostly it's like normal us. people it's you normal, normal people. people exactly yeah, that can afford to pay that you know six thousand and go to mozambique or that seven thousand yeah. and go to Mozambique but uh, and go to lesotho yes. you are not really going to get like rich 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 mm -hmm. at most times you know yeah. because now they understand okay we understand <laughs> You people, she said me, and now she's saying we like herself. Uh, that shade. Sorry, guys, yes. but we, <laughs> we understand. <laughs> so it's like understanding. I'm down here, I cannot. <laughs> Truly, I was making an example. Ah, okay, it's fine. Yes. So 
now, those people, they are so much aware of what they need to bring into their spaces. Mm. And when we talk about rich people, we talk about people that even their households, mm. you would find very quiet most of the time. Yeah, it is. It's not busy. No, rich mm. people's houses, you, you would only hear maybe even if they want some noise, it's at the piano playing. Exactly. <laughs> or now, <laughs> yes, they have family now and then. Yeah, no, but no, it's no. all about family. That Those are people that you cannot and choose. And the closest to them. They exactly. Not just any family. Uh, no, oh, this one is my uncle's 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 ring. Ah, uh, you're not there. Yes. <laughs> so it is very important for us as people to find proper spaces of ourselves. Mm. And the main important thing is self-love. Mm. Because now I think this is how I'm gonna break it down. Mm. If you love yourself, mm. you don't you will not need friends. Because when we say we want friends, other people, they want friends because they want to be loved. A friend will love you. A friend will give you love. A friend will always tell you that you look nice. You're not sure. So you want assurity from somebody. That's a very unique take that I've never heard of or even thought it of. Good. So now you want a friend to always remind you that you are worthy of having someone around you. Because you don't find that within yourself. Do you think that also that happens also due to the fact that like I obviously I spend quite an amount of time with Coco Manzini because we film together. Mm. And I see how close you are with your husband. Mm. So you, 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 like, I can see you guys love each other like nobody's business. And, like, we can be filming here. You talk to your husband probably five times or whatever, mm. you understand? Mm. So you guys, you, you literally are not walking this earth by yourself. You know, your husband is there. Mm. And so it's the two of you guys. Yeah. Do you <clears throat> think that sometimes, like, for someone like me, you know, single... I don't have a husband that I'm constantly talking to. Because remember, like, a boyfriend and a husband, two completely different mm. things. A husband is someone you know this is my life partner. Mm. A boyfriend is someone that, even if he's with some other girlfriend, he still belongs to Jesus until he marries me. You know, mm. that's the how the world is. So, do you think that maybe sometimes it's just that human need? Because I feel like every human needs to at least have someone in their life. But it starts with you loving yourself first. Then you need to, then you are able to select, you are able to be selective of who you want in that, that life true. of yours. As true. I just said I, before, people right. want assurity of certain things. Mm. People get to relationships not because they want to be in relationships, mm. but because they want to be told, I love you. So the reason of you wanting to hear someone saying, I love you, it is sometimes because you do not give yourself that enough love. So that is why you end up finding yourself in different many spaces. The house that you live in, you don't love it. You don't give it the love that you think you should give it. So it is impossible for you to spend time alone in your house. You would rather go where there is is it Kito and everything and spend your life there because you do not love your own space. That is so true. So loving yourself is a ground and it's a base of the love that you are going to get. So me and my husband, we always together. I loved myself first. Mm. And then he knew that I love myself first. And he loved himself first. And then we yeah, had this bond. Together, we yeah. both share love. Mm. So when you are in a relationship with somebody, or when you are friends with somebody, or, or, uh, why is always important. Mm. You need to ask yourself, why am I with this person? Mm. Do I really, really, really love them? Or is it the comfort that they give me? So if it's the comfort that they give you, it means that you do not give yourself comfort enough. So everything that we want to attract, we need to give. Or everything that we want to attract, we need to be it first. Yeah. If we want love, we need to be love ourselves. If we want comfort, we need to be comfort ourselves. It needs to be within us. Because now we allow all the dead into our spaces. Because of loneliness, 
and wanting that sense of assurity. Oh, you're beautiful, Wami. Oh, Chami, I love you and stuff like because that. Because of lack of self love. <clears throat> but I think sometimes it's, it's a matter of you know, like now when you're saying all that you're saying right now, I'm literally just getting shocked because I do remember the time that I was going through a divorce and I moved to Houting. I was barely in my house. I, I could and it was a nice apartment, but. I wouldn't even put as much effort to make my space nice because I knew I'm not there. Literally, if I was not out there wasting money shopping, I'm at a friend's house. Or I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And I think it was also a way to try and distract myself. Obviously, I was still very highly wounded. But the moment that, guys, I started healing, <clears throat> I do not want to lie. I barely am at anyone's house. Because if I'm not at work... I'm literally going driving to my house and I, I find comfort in staying in my own space by myself. I don't feel I need to constantly be out there and stuff like that. And so what she's actually saying, I can literally confirm that that is literally 100% true. And you are now going to do better in life. Better. Yes. No, you I have been. Good. I have been. Like, I get a lot of work done good. because I'm not out there. Good. I get a lot of work done. I get videos out. I get, even if I'm not filming, I get to sit down, pen. My, my, my business is, what am I going to do here? Like, I get more done, man, because mm. I'm not at a friend's house. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Or yes. I'm not out there shopping, or I'm not out there just sitting. There's certain people that sometimes it's not a friend's house you're going to go to. Sometimes you're literally just in clubs. Or sometimes you're literally just in restaurants every day because mm. you don't want to spend uh, that time with yourself. Yeah, you know? because you don't love yourself. Mm. And friends are toxic. Friends are dangerous. A lot, a lot of them. You know, they would use umuti on you, not knowing, just because they are able to see that you are you are something, there is something good that is coming out of your life. Do you know how to track when someone loves you or not? By the time you are nothing, they love you. By the time you don't have anything, they love you. By the time you're going but through the, the most, time you're going through the most, they, they love, love you, you because they want to be here with you and you also want to be with them because you want to hear certain kinds of words. Can't the words that they are saying to you, they don't mean them. They are just saying it. And then once you start to progress in life, then you become enemies. Why? Because now you are taking another direction of, of life where they never imagined you to be. You know, I lost friends when I started to progress because they had already made up their minds about my life. They already decided, Uguti, this is Tyra. Tyra is a person that will go to clubs and drink. Tyra, this is, that is what they made up. So even when they would talk about you, remember you're at your lowest, mm. they would talk about that, oh, Lord, Lord, this, this, this. So now, when you start progressing, a loves us dinner for the mali or whatever, or don't call that one, or, but call him. We will buy beers or we will buy whatever and then she will be running around. So now, once you start having money, they're going to hate it because now they don't have anyone to run around for them. Now, once you start making money or doing better in life, they are going to hate it now because now they are losing gossip. Because well, for you to do better, you have to be busy in life. It's exactly. Awesome. So they are losing gossip. So you, they, you can't. When someone has already made up their mind that you're not going to have a car in your life. And now you buy a car. Ah. They are used and to then you buy a second one. <laughs> and then you buy a third one. And then now yeah, you are killing them. So they are obliged. They have to hate you. I have lost... In this short space of time, when I started practicing traditional healing, that is when I accepted my calling. And that is when my ancestors were then happy, Uguti, we are blessing you. And then I attracted enemies. You know, people will hate me because I'm saying I buy my cash cash. And expensive ones at that. Eh? And then that would be an offense to somebody else because they don't buy their cash cash, they buy their cash on installments. And when I say I buy my car cash, I am not saying, I'm, I'm not shading you yeah. or anyone that is paying installment. I'm sorry. Effect. Exactly. I'm just stating a fact. Mm. If I'm going to stand here and say, I buy my house's cash. Mm. No, 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 no. I am not even saying that well, you, now you, you are weak. Work yeah. Because you... But because you've got so much hate yes. and you're looking for something to hate, that you are going to use that against me that and will. say you hate me because I said that. Thank you. So a lot of people hate success. And even with families, 
You know what happens with families? I will tell you. Mm -hmm. You are family, you are 10. Like your mom or your dad. Ukoko mm. wako has got 10 kids. Mm. So abantwana baba bako, your father, mm. it's you guys. Mm. And then abantwana ba B mm. by six. Mm. Abantwana ba C, how many, how many, how many, right? Mm. So they are 10. Mm. So if your mom mm. is suffering, mm. your mom is suffering, some of them are doing good. Mm. So you know what happens is they have made up in their minds that they are the most successful ones. Yes. So the other ones that are at the back, they should not be successful. Yes. So once one from, from C, from child C, and then maybe one of their child, or even child C himself, mm. the parent, mm. once they start progressing, mm. now it's hate because the other people, they see themselves as they are the only people that are supposed to hold the glory. So that when we figure when there's a gathering, we need to know the only kids that comes with expensive cars abandonaba owami. So now if abandonaba mushumi, they now come with cars. What? You hate. You can't because your kids are the only kids that are supposed to come here. And so those things they make hate because the reason they hate you is because they have already made it up in their minds that you are nothing, that you are not worthy. So once you start to progress, you are disappointing them. So they not really hate you, but they're angry at why are you stepping up? Because we wanted you down so that we can walk all over you. And again, I think we'll the other problem again is that these friends, you know, I'm not talking about everyone because there are really good friends out there. I'm not going to... Yeah, no, they are. They are. But these friends or these people that we, we go around collecting with their spirits and everything, they are the ones that now at the end of the day, they wish. They wish you. know you. the friends that go to a Sangoma strictly just for you? Yeah, they are. Sure. And you know what happens was, what, you know what happens is, the friend that will go to a Sangoma for you mm. is a friend that is doing better than you. No, not that you are doing better than them. A friend that is doing better than you, but then now you worship them. They know that they are the center of their friendship mm. because they have the money or they have the hundred rand. Okay. So when you should stay right there. That is the main cause of all those things. You should stay right there and beg. So the other thing is that people get frustrated when you stop begging. People get so frustrated when you stop begging. They want you to beg, 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 beg. They hate it. Yo, I this 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 is deep, guys. I really hope you guys are listening. Hey, this is really deep because honestly, there are certain people that. They are your friends when you're down. The moment you heal and you start doing well, they are nowhere to be found. Because you are shocking them. Huh? You are shocking them. You know what they want to do? They want to go next door and talk about you. And say, yo, oh, I was at my house. She's going through a lot. She's going through a lot. And I'm yo, one, right? yes, and she doesn't even have a scent. <gasps> and I, 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 I just helped her. I gave her cabbage and, and <gasps> pap. And because I had, what was I going to do? Hey, <gasps> nah, Exactly. Can't tell my boyfriend why I'm in Zealand. You know, so this is what they want to create. So now, if you're going to stop going to their houses and ask for food, what are they going to gossip about? And then you are cramping their style. And you know, guys, there are also friends that... Uh, be careful of these friends. First of all, this is, is the friend or the cousin or someone around your space who they are only there for you when you are going through that most. The moment you heal and you're happy, you're in your element, they disappear. They don't really have good intentions for you. It means your happiness threatens them. They stop calling you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> ask me about it. Oh, the other one is this. There's this type of people that show me. Where Nene, right now they say you have got 50,000 rands in your account, right? And then that 50k, you're just like, ah, I don't even... I know what to do with this money, whatever. And let's say, Lord forbid, guys, obviously I'll give an example with myself. Me, nah, 
I'm at a position where I need I need ten thousand rands. Do you know Chemi when you can go out there and give someone forty five thousand rands? You can and not give me a cent. You can because I mean I must get two hundred. You can't give me fifty thousand that will make me set up my business or even borrow me for that fact. Like you can't borrow me ten thousand, but you can give forty five thousand rands to someone because again the main point is to always keep you at a point of need. I saw this other meme, uh, the the picture where they were like, be careful of people that pretend they want to help you. And then there was a person in a hole. I'm sure if uh, we get the picture, my editor, please <laughs> remind me so that we put that picture. There was a, a person in, in a hole and then there was another one on top putting their hand down, acting as if they wanted to reach that person, but they can't because of the distance of the hand. But that person literally had a ladder up here. So when, now when you're down there, the only point of view you see is the one of this person trying their best with their mm -hmm. hand. Where else they could literally just lend you a ladder so that you come out. And when you're constantly there, like, oh, that person cares about me. He is forever or she is forever trying mm. to get me. Can't they, they have a ladder? They are just not, you don't see it because you're not, the, you know that picture. I remember I even shared it on my Instagram account. You know, it oh. really, like, spoke to me. And I was like, this is the reason why, honestly, like, people with money don't associate, like, a lot of money don't. You know what I like about my husband? Mm -hmm. Is that... We both from zero backgrounds. Mm. We don't know riches mm. until we created them. Yeah, for yourself. We didn't know riches until we created them for ourselves. Mm. We met Sizama, both of us. Mm. We're climbing the ladder together. Mm. You, you, you understand? Mm. He knows life, I know life. Mm. I know how it feels to be poor. Mm. I know how it feels to be spoken about. Mm. The very same person that assists you behind mm. your back, mm. when you discover <laughs> Their intentions. No, when you discover the things that she or he actually says about you. And you know what they would do? They would say those things to people that are close to you. They're not people that are far. You know, I had a friend that I would introduce to you, mm. and she would have the audacity to talk bad about me to you. Araguas, they don't know you. They, they know you through me, you, but, but they have got the audacity to. You know why? It's because all the time they try to pull you down. No, and what do you do now? The miracle of God, I'm going to use God now. Mm. When he takes you up, he takes you very, very high. Mm. That's true. And when he takes you high, I don't know if it's the magnet or what. Mm. When he takes you high, he presses them down. I was actually talking about how you would have like a friend that as much as it's that situation of acting like they want to help you but they actually have a ladder that can get you out of the hole mm. but i think some people actually just enjoy the joys of throwing you crumbs down there whilst you're in the hole because you know as you said if owami buys a car then how am i gonna be your ice girl mm, yeah, you can't and there's a person that cannot even tell you when they're looking for people where they work Thank you. And you, they know your job. They is. know that you need a job. They know that you need something. You know that they can speak for people for you so that you can get there. But because it's you, they will never. And they would not even mind coming to tell you that, hey, you know, Umton, I was, ban -ban, was looking for a job, and then she's working. But what they would come and rub it in your face and say... Uh, that's the part. Is it them rubbing in the face, or is it a matter of they forget? They forget. They forget, ne? Mm. Because yeah, there are certain conversations that I've had with people, and I'm like, honey, did you forget? Like, <laughs> Mina, and, and you know what the most beautiful thing I've, I've learned about life? So that's why I would always say, I honor mm -hmm. being poor. There's a time that I've actually said that poverty saved my life. I honor poverty. being poor because there were lots of kinds of people that I wouldn't know if I was rich. So being poor assisted me. It, op it, 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 it generated some sense of growth within me so that I am able to open up my eyes and go to different places because of poverty. Then I would meet people. I would meet people. I would know, okay, okay, this one. And then they would tell you, this one was saying what, 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 what this, but you can see their behavior even now. Mm. Good to know, but nah, this, exactly. Mm. But because now you are down and out, mm. 
Maybe what? you want a sense of belonging. Thank so you. now that is when we say self-love starts there. It's so if you nice. loved yourself then, so I was poor and I didn't love myself. Dango. But if I loved myself, I was going to say I am poor, but I'm not going to stand for this and this and this and, and that. Nice and they know that whatever bad they do to you, you will always forgive them and come back to them because you need them. So they think you need them. Gandhi, it's just that phase of your life. You know, so when I stepped out of friends, that is when Iklo Zilami got enough time to get to me. Mm. That is when they said, this is how we want you. So I got sick. I think it was about six months. Mm. And then I was alone. And then that is when they were trying to show good, you can actually stay alone. Go do what we want you to do. So when you are busy with all those toxic people, you don't even get time to find yourself. You don't sit and find yourself. And this is not only just friends, guys. This happens even with sisters. Uh, this happens with cousins. Uh, this happens with brothers. This happens with uncles. This happens with aunts. You know, you would sit and ask, everyone. you know what you would do? You yeah. would sit and ask yourself, what did I do to? Thank you. What did I do to all these people? And now you're at the space where you feel that you're doing good. You want to share something with them. You want to be with them all the time or once in a while. Then you say, I have achieved. Let's share that piece of cake that I bought. Now, no, 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 no. You are an enemy. You I don't even remember saying that, anything to them, babe. It was a time that I, I, and again, guys, like I've never made it a secret that I'm not rich yet, but I'm not starving. And I'm a, uh, like, I'm a long, long, long way from where I used to be. Do you get mm. Um, But I know I'm going to get, to get rich. One of the reasons why I'm so close with my sisters, so, 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 so close with my sisters is because, yay. I went through it. Especially the time after the, the divorce and then I bought the car. Yo, it was like opening this flood gate of like a lot of stuff. And it's very painful um, because what I've actually realized is that if someone was to give me an option now, I would rather meet you when I'm doing better than meet you when I'm not doing well. Because I want to see you when I'm doing better. How are mm. you when I'm doing better? True. Because I feel like in life, the normality is I'm going to go through ups and downs, but my ups are going to be more than my downs. Do you understand? Mm. So I would rather I have you in my life in my ups so that I can see who you are. Then when I go to my downs, if I'm losing you, then I'm losing you. It's fine. But at least let me see you at my ups because it's very painful or you have someone that whenever you're crying that day to wipe your tears. But whenever something good happens, then if I there to say congratulations. Mm -hmm. And I think those type of relationships, whether friendships or personal relationships or family relationship dynamics, they really truly hurt because you look at it and you're like, when I was down and out, this person was there for me 100%. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. for them not being there for me when I'm now up and I'm now happy, it's, it's very mind boggling because now, remember when you're down, you, you develop a sense of dependency. Mm -hmm. That's with everyone. Mm -hmm. You know, that's with all of us because you're down, you know, you, you're at a point where you you can't you're not loving yourself you you are this and this and then this yes. person comes and they help you literally they, they act as if they're giving you, you love do you understand mm. and then you are now at a point where you're like oh my gosh i'm here like this is my ride or die mm -hmm. do you understand mm -hmm. now you're at a point where i'm happy i'm okay this person disappears <laughs> I, I i they don't want that i i i i'm i've, I'm, I'm, I've always been and I'm, I, I also came back to good senses with that. Also, I'm not going to say I'm rich. Mm -hmm. But you are. But no, I'm not. But I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm still, I, there's more that I still want to achieve or, you know. Yeah, I, I don't think anyone can ever say I'm rich. Yes. Honestly, because I think that as much as we can see you, to me, you are rich. But to yourself, you will never see yourself as rich because mm. you, your, your vision mm, is all the higher. way there and I don't see it so When yeah. I started, I will tell you one thing, I stayed in a township. Mm -hmm. It was okay. And I moved to town. Mm. Then people started distancing themselves from me. And mm. there's one thing I would tell you. It's not because I'm a Sangoma. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I would think it's because I'm a traditional healer. Also now they think I will bewitch them or they'll think I will... Oh, it's fine. It's not that. It's their hearts are dirty. So I'm one kind of a person that does not... I don't gloat. Like, I, I, 
I will never make you feel any less of yourself. Mm, that's true. That's me. That's the kind of a person that I am. And, and that's a lesson you learn when you're poor. That's the lesson yes. that only poverty would do. And, and also, I would want to share anything with anybody. Mm. So when we moved in, people didn't believe. Town. And they thought, no, those are renting there. Mm. Is over shy and they will come back. Mm. So when they actually find out to go to look, those people they paid cash there. They hated that because they never saw you in that eye. Mm. That's true. You get what I'm trying to say? Mm. So then now I get to the point where I'm asking myself, why is who not answering my calls? Why is who not calling me anymore? Why Did does it like um me? why is it like we're now enemies with who who who? But when you actually get to sit mm. with yourself mm. and now you know what that does? That does it, it also takes a strain in you mm. because now you always have those moments where you sit and say, maybe I said something about them to who. Yeah. But when you ask yourself and then you find good no man, I, I never said it. anything. Mm. You know, mm. but it's not that, it's the hate in them. They see the direction that you are coming with, which it's not what they thought it will. They never imagined you in that level. No one imagined your podcast growing to these numbers. No, no one. So now, you, so now because they say, what is she doing? She's going to fail. Because you're not failing, then they hate you. And that also happens with their spouse, guys. And that's, like, really sad. I do Everybody. not want to lie. Like, even with, like, a spouse, someone can build you. Not build you, because I don't believe someone can build you. Someone can help you build yourself, because you build yourself, right? Mm. But the moment you actually reach a point where it's like they, they are okay with your success as long as they are comfortable with it, and as long as your success is not above what they've seen you as. If they see oh, oh, Ami as she makes 20000 and that's what she makes, I'm more comfortable with that. Oh, Ami, the moment she starts to make 120000 a month, it's now a problem. There is no way. What, like, why? Because, mm. I mean, I, I put you go 20000 Where now, why are you popping now and adding another hundred? That is what like people that. hate. I, mm. What you're saying now is what I just said. Mm. I said, people make up their minds about your life. So, if what they made up doesn't turn out to be that, then they hate you. They actually don't hate you, but they hate the direction that you are taking. Why are you taking it? Why are you disappointing us? Because Tina, the only Owami that we saw is Owami that is at this level. Mm. And we decided with ourselves mm. that Owami is going to be here and Owami will, is not going to be in our level. Mm. So the minute Owami rises up than us now, then it's, it's a, a problem. problem. Or it takes a direction where they feel. Because you know what is the, the problem also with this type of people? They always see your greatest, your greatness, even before you see it. Mm. Do you know that? When you start something, they always, like... It's like they, they sniff. The power in you, they feel it. Thank you. They feel the power in you. They know. That is why I would always say to you, that I just said to you, mm. the person that is going to be with you, especially when it comes to friends, family, or mm. what, what, mm. it's a person that is upper. Than you. Not the person that is lower than you. Mm. You know why? They can see the power. If this person can be right in life, who is on you? So you know what they do? They want to take steps. They go as young any. They go as young any. They go as young. They would even lie. I'm sure that um, they would go to Inyanga and say, "Yeah, Ekaya, there's someone that is progressing." And then Inyanga would tell them what she's twallering with your family. Thank you. They do that. <laughs> yeah, of course. They always, would. Yes. It's always they're using uh, your powers when. Nah? Let me tell you also. I'm a traditional healer. Mm. Traditional healers. They lie. they lie and don't be in it Thank you. They do. You know what traditional healers do? Mm -hmm. They will always find a problem. Of course. Someone is always wishing you. I mean, I will yeah. always tell my clients, if, you know what? If there's a ninja that is contacted with me, a few ninjas, when I told you there's nothing wrong with you, please inbox Owami. There's people that I would tell, Uguti, there's nothing wrong with you. You just need to cleanse yourself. Mm -hmm. No one is busy with you. Please, please, Kakupa. If you did consult with me online, or you came to me and I told you that no one is targeting you, please stand up and show up. And the problem
problem again is that people that believe in in in, in going to Sangoma say Lord, they have a problem of they always think something is wrong. So when they come to you and you say there's nothing wrong with you, but, but they feel like you're not weak. Hey, but weak, she can't see. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, She's weak. I, please, That's ninjas, I beg, I beg, I beg. If Oh, you can just comment there and say, Mina said it they to me. Comment. You don't even see your gang. They will. That's stupid. <laughs> they, oh, oh, let them inbox you. She won't expose you. <laughs> no, I've never exposed them. Exactly. You know what happens with traditional healers? I know, I know, I know. Ukobela Wami told me all the tricks of these people. Mm. So they would... You would, you're not going to go and do Mbeni and come out clean. And you you would go and do Mbeni and come out as the guy. And you know, this is the other problem again. Eh? Like, for me, I won't lie. Guys, I come, like, I used to be dead poor. Like, when I say dead poor, I'm, I'm talking about someone that there, there was a time that I didn't have food to mm. eat. You know, Just that, like that, me. That, that, that's the poverty that I come from. Just like me. And I remember because I dropped out of school and everything, and I used to be that person that... I would call people to ask. Literally, I was a beggar, mm. you know. Just like me. Um, I, I, that thing of calling people, not even calling, because you don't even have money for airtime. Mm. When I'm a call beg, maybe you hustle that uh, a five friend airtime. Mm. You call the person doesn't answer, and they don't even get back to you. Not that they don't get back to you today. Three weeks can go by, and they never got back to you. They will never get back to you. I lived that life. You understand? So for me. When I was with my ex-husband, there, there were people that actually found comfort in, ah, the only thing that's helping her is the fact that she's with a rich man. Because that's what they used to think, oh. that I'm married to a rich man. You understand? So when I was now going through a divorce, and I'm not even saying it in a bad way or anything, but the way that I used to hide the fact that I was the one that was actually making more money even in that marriage at that point was because even the time of my divorce, literally I can say a lot of bad things about my father, but at least that time he tried because he was like, she can come home. Mm. Do you understand? Like, cause he never even saw me as someone that could afford to have an apartment or anything. So when I got an apartment and it was in Midrand at that time, they were like, mm, "We know Midrand is not, you know, but Midrand ain't cheap." And also, stick at it. So just to, to catch you there, mm. I don't want this to go out of my mind. Mm. Traditional healers have broken a lot of homes. Thank you. Traditional healers. Now it's coming because of what I just said. Mm. Traditional healers have created a lot of hate amongst people. Mm. You know why people want traditional healers to tell them what they want to hear. And traditional healers, some of them, they're very smart to pick it up from you. Mm. Because now, you know what they do? Mm. And I always tip them also. They would say, ask me, I've got a very big problem going on. And in family in we're suspecting Of course, Umam uh, Why are you making my job so easy? Then the consultation is done. <laughs> <laughs> the consultation is done. Umam nan vele. Okay, let's do. Umam nan. It's the consultation that is done. You're making my job very easy. You gave me free money. So, people, they know. You gave me free money. Exactly. You, you, you just told me what you want me to tell you, Mos. You just told And when you say, I get called, they say, Coco. Are you sure? There's no one. No one targeting me. Why do you want to be targeted, Gand? Are you special? <laughs> <laughs> People don't leave a consultation ask, ask, without asking that question. Serious. Coco, are you sure no one is targeting me? Uh -uh. Why do you want to be so targeted? So now they go to traditional healers with our names, and then they would always say, Ngisola, U. Mm. That, that they, is they will answer. agree. So we, 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 we don't love ourselves enough to understand that no one can do anything to us. Thank you. We don't feel protected by our uh, oh on our own. Then just knowing that I am protected. I love myself. I am so much. No one can do anything to me. I'm a hard rock. We don't want that. So one thing is success attracts a lot of unnecessary um, enemies. Enemies. So what you need to do is now move away from those people. Yeah, so you know what you would say. You would say I am. I'm staying not close to my family mm. because I want to be close to my family. Mm. But when you find which you don't actually have family, when, eh? mm. then you you know what you can say. I can move to Cape Town and stay there. Thank you. Because then I I'm still like a person that is in Cape Town now. Mm. Because your family will they know so much about Umuti that they know Uguti Omunyumuntu can twala about Omunyumuntu. <laughs> 
They know that, but why don't they do it? Because they're poor. So, but if you know what a person can do, why don't you do it yourself? We need to be careful of who we bring to our houses. We need to be careful of who we give lifts in our cars. We need to be careful of who we share a glass of drink with. We need to be careful of everything. Love yourself, protect yourself, barricade yourself. Barricade yourself, put a stop nonsense, so that you are very, very selective of who you want. Because now we've got a lot of people that we are enemies with, but we don't even know that we are enemies, enemies with. with. The only reason that makes us enemies is the bank account. So if I knew that my bank account was going to cause so much enemies for me, I was not even going to open it. Because now there's people in this world that think only good is for them. If the good thing falls to another person, it's a problem. It's a problem. And I think, you know, with that, um, if you're someone that, uh, you know, things are just starting to go well for you. Because um, what I wanted to say before you said that was that when I moved to this side, obviously I moved uh, the last day of December of 2020. And then January, February, March, I bought my car. And that was my first brand new car ever. It's a seven-seater. You guys know I love my extra with my soul. Um, I remember that week, because in my, in my WhatsApp stories, because remember, for me, anyone that is in my WhatsApp stories is someone that's close to me. Do you understand? We exchange. It means you have my numbers. I have your numbers. It means I trust you. Do you get? Uh, I was posting my car. Obviously, I'm happy. My car has no plate number. Like, it was such a big achievement mm. for me. I mm. feel like it was the... The biggest thing that I had accomplished um, as I was going through a divorce. And I, I, it gave me a lot of power to say, you can actually do it. Did I not get blocked? <laughs> On WhatsApp. <laughs> that week. And then I really struggled with, what did I do? Like, is there something I did? There was nothing. The only thing I could remember was that that week, I was very much posting about my car. Very happy. I'm still excited about the features I'm seeing in this car. Okay. I had only been driving, like, you know, obviously secondhand, old cars. You know, this is, this is a brand new car, and it's a big one, and there's this and this. I'm getting new features. The automatic was still... You understand? I'm showing everything. Oh, it's a 4 by 4 I mm. switch it. I do this. I got blocked. I think we're going through the same thing. Because NAMI, certain people stopped talking to me when they saw that I'm achieving certain things that they never thought I would have. So we're going to be just talking same thing. People hate success and they will find stories. Mm. of They will find something, a loophole that they will hold you. Even if you can ask them, why are you not talking to me anymore? Mm. They will say, you said something. It's crazy. Like hey, hey. You know, some apparently Nami, I've got enemies because I said I buy my things cash. But how is that in one's business? I, I have. You don't know, but I don't want to go deep. I have family a, an issue with people because I once said the other day I bought my things cash. And they didn't buy their things cash. How did I know? Oh, but I don't but, but how do I know? Even now, you have a car. I don't know you bought it cash on. I do how not. do I My know? I was not there when financed. you bought it. Well, how I, do I know? And what is wrong with your car being financed? There's nothing wrong because remember, we're different walks of life or in life, you know? It's, uh, mm -hmm. it's not fair. It's, it's, Sometimes it's you celebrate your celebration. We celebrate differently. Yes. I think when I'm going to come to you and say, Oh, Chomi, I bought this cash. You say, oh, Chomi, really? Mm. I'm, I'm very proud of you. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Yes. So that inspired. other people, they don't find it that way. They find that you're gloating. And I think that that's also like one of those reasons that is a problem. Because I feel like, honestly, everything... Uh, comes from a, a, a place of how do I perceive you as a person? And at most times, guys, people tell us how they really feel about us. We just choose to ignore it. Because you know that uh, I can come and knock this uh, a, a, a cup mm. down, right? Mm. And you will have a different reaction to if your husband knocked it down. Mm. Because you know your husband will never ever mean mm. to hurt you. Mm. The way you look at him is that he's he's always here to help or whatever. He loves me so he can't hurt me. But then what makes you think I hate you? That even if this was a mistake for me to knock this down, my intention was to hurt you. Because there are certain people that... <coughs> sorry. You'd find that you're celebrating. 
And for me to come to you and say, yo, Chomi, I cannot believe it. This month I made 180,000 rands. Oh mm. my gosh, I'm so happy. Mm. What makes you think I'm boosting towards you? We're going to buy cars. We're not done. Houses, we're not done. Anger, people must just prepare it. But then now, obviously, as we're rapping, what advice would you give? Let's say maybe there's someone that is out there, they've been struggling with, like, in terms of, um, maybe they had this friend that was very close when they were going through a lot. They mm. were down in their life. And now that they're up, you know, not to say up, but you're now at a, at a, at a better place. You're at your better mm. on the, the, for better Yeah, voice. I hear you. And now maybe the friend or the, the cousin or whoever the person that they were with, all of a sudden just falls off, right? <clears throat> what advice would you have for someone that just realized that actually I don't have a friend, I don't have a cousin, I don't have a sister, um, how do they start distancing themselves from that person without actually, let's say, making it too obvious? Yeah. Mm. Start by developing a lot of self-love. Mm. Find your purpose. Mm. That's one thing. Mm. Find your purpose in this earth. Why are you here? Mm. If you know why you're here and you start loving yourself and you practice love, like self-love, you will understand that you don't really need people. Mina, I actually don't have advice for, I would not advise anyone, walk away. Just walk away with a smile, see them and smile. But because you know that like me personally, I don't have hate. I don't know how to hate. Mm. I don't know how to make a person angry. I can make you angry unknowingly. Mm. But I think you need to be matured okay. enough to approach me and say, Chomi, I, I didn't like, like this and stop acting up. Thank stop you. Stop acting up because I might have said it. I never meant to offend anyone. I just said it. And then you feel offended. So maturity, mm. it starts there to come to me and say, Sissy, you know when you were delivering a speech or when you said that, I just didn't like that. But mm. so now I'm saying it to you. I uh, didn't like this. Then I will tell you that. Actually, this is what uh, I Exactly. Guess. Then yes. stop acting up. Yeah. Yes, this is Coco Manzini. Really Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for having me and allowing me to your houses. If you want to get a hold of me, you can send me a WhatsApp on 072-448-1474. And you can send me, or you can simply visit my YouTube channel at Dr. Coco Manzini TV because that is where I post more of what I do mm. because here yeah, I feel limited mm. yes I feel like I'm limited there's things that I can talk about there's things that I cannot talk about there's things that I don't want them to look a certain way from to people mm. so this one is more for educational purposes but for my products and to know everything that i do better follow me on my youtube channel yeah that is going to be here on the banner yeah it's going to be here there's going to be a banner here but thank you so much for actually joining us today i felt like this was a great conversation because i feel like we start off with saying this is just the topic and then we just run wild with it but <clears throat> if there's anything that i can say is that guys there's something that is very important with protecting your space not everyone that smiles with you really wishes you well not everyone that smiles with you is actually even your friend or loves you or even likes you for mm. for, for 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 that better you understand making sense yeah and again i i also want to say that you know how um i'm one of those people that they always say well, i don't listen Show me. Now if I, I, I tell myself I'm going to break this cup and you come to me and you tell me, oh, I mean, don't break this cup because of this and this and this and this and this and this. I chances are I will break this cup.